We have secured our succession. And I feel like I remember that I had a good reason to not forming these titles yet. He gets everything. So why am I not forming these titles? Well, I can only reasonably hold one. And I can't give out the second. So for now, probably the money is spent elsewhere in a more sensible manner. We're still trying to get a title here. Take some time. And I could still consider becoming his vassal. Try and fight individual pieces rather than everything. You are fighting someone? No, it's just an inside conflict, is it? Nope. It is actually not. It is an outside conflict. So you are attacking in a conquest for this thing. They are themselves currently being attacked by... Who are you guys? This. And who are you guys? This. Let us hold a feast, why not? We are an adulterer now. Not super optimal, but also could be much worse. I'm not sending my 14 year old kid out to hunt. The top option for what food we should have is available because we wrote our lovely lovely book here. People don't want to come to our feast. Come on now. Be like that. We're still upgrading for money primarily. Look at that. From four to six gold each. That's how you do it. As a feudal lord. And it looks like... Um, Galicia Bologna has absorbed this piece up here. Do you have anything cool we can do with him in terms of war? Where wrong are you? 4,000. We're at 6,000. They're really big. Could go and establish ourselves a vassal here. Who are you going to war for? Ooh, another conquest. Wait, didn't we do this already? I'm having a deja vu. Oh no, that's what, ah, that's, that's what I was considering last. Whether or not to join on the side of the Conqueror. Can we do something cool? No, we only have border conflicts. You have 4,000 troops and you're facing off against this guy who has only 1,200. Then again, they could get absorbed into Poland. I also don't really want. I don't want to make them a, uh, smaller there. Why can't I establish these? Uh, realm size is greater than 100%. Okay, we have to have a bigger realm size. Otherwise, we can just extort tribute from them. Okay, let's have a little look around um, for counts with clay mounts, potentially. Let's shop a little bit. Ask for a claim here. Probably going to be difficult to find claimants on any of this. I don't think I'm going to join the host. Why can't we establish a tributary state with him? Oh, we need to be majesty over four. 
can go up to three, but four is a little bit out of our wheelhouse so far. We could extort tribute, however, again. This breaks free once we die, and we are at death door, as it is. You need a good little little lady. You need someone who's strong, probably. String. No, strimp. Strong. Oh, look, there's someone 15, 16. 15 year old has a lisp. He's well groomed and brave and everything. Let's get her for him. We are already gregarious, so let's get some intrigue going. Because we are cynical. When... Name Newland. Okay. We can press a claim for our son on Newland, which is this piece here. But it would be against... Denmark, who I think is our ally, isn't he? Oh, he's in Sweden, is. How strong are you? 4,000. We want Newland, though. I mean, every little bit helps, doesn't it? But... Kinda... Really not within what we need, and I have a feeling that might make things a bit more difficult for us. I'm not so sure. Okay, my castle town is built in our new little holdings here. And now we are basically stuck. So we have a higher castle infrastructure. Meaning we can just upgrade all these a little bit. And we will go... By... Increasing the barracks first on both. Because we need more heavy infantry and the stables. Where we go. This, I'm not really going to go upgrade any further, for now. We do have a levy of 1,700 just from this one castle, which is great. I want to bring these a little bit closer to that as well. Is our Chancellor... Yeah, he has been bribed. So it doesn't really matter. He can stay there forever. He's not going to get anything done. So let's send him show descent in the realm if he cheats on us. He had 50 gold, now he has 100 with 0 0.3 gold income. That's not how that works. He was He was definitely bribed. And you, my dear son, I don't need you doing that anymore, so he can go study some technology for us where he's probably going to get imprisoned or killed, so enjoy. Get him away from us. Keep sleeping with his wife. Aren't we already grievously wounded? deny the affair that we have with his wife about which she knows so once a chancellor has been bribed I don't think you can set them on the same thing again I don't want the feast everyone is just going to tell us to go enjoy ourselves
to know if we can go on a grand hunt, please. Oh, if we hold three duchy titles, we can create our own kingdom. So this makes sense, actually. They're not too expensive, so let's do that. That way we can fight for duchies. Yep. 300 gold for a new kingdom it is. And we are uncrowned, so we should definitely make sure that we become crowned. And only the Pope is fit to crown me. Master of the Hunt is required, this guy. Ah, right, yeah, yeah, all the new titles that come with being a king. But Jester, I don't really have anyone to antagonize. High Almoner. And more commander slots, because now we are big and strong and we have grown so much. Okay, we have fulfilled the ambition to become king of Lithuania. Um, I did not expect that to happen, to be quite honest. Let's build a war chest, which needs to be a thousand gold. But I'm sure that the Pope is going to want a whole lot of money or something like it from us. Ooh, we have gotten another shade of red, which is more into the pink. What do you want? 200 gold. Yes, we'll take it. And... A dignified ceremony will do. I don't want to spend all my gold on something like this. Since I also don't really know if this actually counts towards this. Um, if I have to hold everything at the same time or if I can do this piecemeal. Can I be crowned as the king of... Um, do we have enough diplomacy to impress people? Yeah, we might have. Worked well. Everyone likes us better now. Yes, let's clear things up with everyone. More conversions going on at home. And we are now crowned by the Pope. Should go this way. Denmark and this daughter here. Now that we are a kingdom, let's check if we can't catch ourselves a little duchy outside. Once, but no one we could use. How many troops did you have? 5,000. How many troops do we have? Do we get more now that we are a kingdom? Not really. Nothing here has changed. I just need to grow a little bit. One good here. Oh yes, do you have a strong claim? We can only press strong claims. Alright, ah, now that we are a king, we can also give away one of our duchy titles, which is probably best, uh, because if you look at our vassals and their opinion of us, they generally don't like... I mean, he doesn't like us. Um, too many held duchies, minus 10. That is something everyone has, even the ones that do like us. So let's really quickly have a look at the duchies we do hold. Lithuania, we are going to keep. Um, this one I think we can give or this one up there we don't have one but if we give it to our son he is not going to be our spy master anymore I don't want to make him a duke Then again, he doesn't hate me too much. Let's make him a duke.
and demand religious conversion. So now do can also put him on the council as our guy. This job. And he can be a commander now. That's all good. Alright, right. right. Uh, we had a Clement here for the Duchy of Mazovia. He already is at our court. How strong is Poland anyway? 5,600. Do you have pacts with anyone? Only non-aggression. We can take a good chunk out here. Do we have anything to give away? Not really. He has a hunting dog, the sly bastard. Okay, we just for some reason got money from being ambitious. Call for help, becoming a drunkard, but at least we don't die, which I uh, generally prefer over that. Drunk is. We have created a new rival because that's fun. Just kind of waiting for people to do plot stuff so I can imprison them. Ah, very good. Our son has come of age. And he is sadly a homosexual, but he is halfway good with diplomacy. Can we find someone who fits him? He's decent. She also offsets some of his failings there uh, in the intrigue department. He would like to have... Oh, okay, you know what? Go get me a claim, son. Get us a claim, rather. This will be yours as well. Probably not a good idea to have a rival spy master. Especially if it's your son. How do we only have one vassal? I see a bunch more. Let's see. No claimants here. No claimants here. Really no good way to go about these things. We have that claimant in Poland, but it's just... This would be fantastic if there was one. How much money do we earn now? Still a little bit. This guy keeps getting stronger and stronger. He makes up most of this power. Wait. Wait a moment. Just wait a second here. 
these are two different things. I figured they're the same, but these are the Teutonics and these are the Liv Livonians. These are, these are, they are different. I did not realize I was so, we just, well, this is how it is, you know, I'm just kind of expected well, it's the same sigil, so it's going to be the same thing. I was wondering why I could only go to battle for one of these and none of these. Well, that does change things. That does change things indeed. How much do, do these cost us? Everything. So we can't do a border dispute because we can't really afford them. Oh no, our son made our lover break up with us. Publicly. What a fairly dysfunctional family we have. You better make sure you get this lady pregnant. Lots of times. Boy is brawny, lady is shrewd. It's really just this stuff here. It, it feels like it's very easy. It's very close to do. But probably isn't very easy. All of this will take some time. Especially the great work. That's something that I push off far, far into the future. But again, we're pretty late already into the game. I'm just watching time pass right now because I'm not entirely sure what to do. What do I do? Well, we have built a war chest. Oh, it wasn't 1000, it was just 700 gold. But having a war chest is nice because that gives us plus 10% gold for the next five years. This guy has arrived at court for whatever reason. Go away from court for no reason. Didn't know you. Should we have a feast? This costs money. I think I'm gonna turn this off again. I don't really care for it. This guy is trying to get title claims on us. This guy just got a title claim on us. Oh, fantastic. He's welcome to try. Should we invest a little bit here? I feel like we should. Let's at least build some more stables here very palpable and then a keep in each and then a training ground in each that should give us some some boost yeah i like that there's no minus because we have no retinue we have no ruler but we could probably make ourselves a bit more formidable with having at least one retinue though we have almost no retinue limit anyway so what we could get is kind of terrible 200 arches Wounded heavy, nothing worthwhile. 
Our limit is too low. Let's look into societies. Is there something we would like to be? Dominican, Benedictine, Hermetic? Nah. Don't really mind right now. I wonder why you have the theology focus. Ah, good stuff, she's pregnant. And let's just speed up because... Well, the sentence I was going to say was, let's just speed up because nothing is happening. Here I am, eating my own words. <laughs> oh my goodness. He died a natural death. Okay, he's an accomplished diplomat. See how this works then. Oh, look at that. We have a whole the retinue. Which we have to build up from nothing. He has zero prestige. Ooh, but we do have, um, what we do have now is no troops to stake our claims. Because for some reason this here just emptied out. Just kind of, someone turned the bucket of this castle over and everyone left. Same in every single other one. No idea why that would be. But now what we could do is we could give this man title in our realm. And then we could press his claim against Poland, earning us a good bit more of land and power. Let us do that. Let's give him Memel, the lower titles too, because we need to give up some things anyway. And why does he hate us? Is he also our rival? Oh, that shit. Okay, there it updates. Opinion of predecessor. So since he hated dad, he hates his brother too. Ah, come on now. Don't be a weirdo about this stuff. Okay, dangerous faction. Obviously. Look at all this. My goodness. So the only saving grace we right now have is um, basically nothing. Only saving grace we have is some money with which we could potentially get some mercenaries to help us. That's the word I was looking for. Done. And... This guy we could also replace. But he's also really good. But he hates us. And we're uncrowned. But we could also go on a pilgrimage. We can also write a book. All of these cost money. Put in a court physician real quick. Or have it be our wife. Why not? Oh, we definitely need to be crowned, but a priest will do. Okay, so these guys are going to go to war with us now. We have our pact still? No, of course not. Let's slow down. Let's get our pitiful troops ready. There's nothing whatsoever. And let's get some mercenaries going. Who can we even afford? We have to buy low. 
and retain low. So the Zami band would be probably the best option for us right now. But they're the absolute worst on top of everything else. These are a little bit better because they got cavalry. But it should be fine. The number superiority of this is going to make the difference. I have to go. So the only saving grace with the factions that we have right now is that these guys are all involved in the same one. these down I don't want anyone to be picked off right now he's picked off reform our old alliances We could call them into this war if it goes sideways. But first we'll try with our own troop strength. Yeah, we have a battlefield coronation now, which is never really good. Wait until the 60 arrive. Okay, everyone hates us for it. Yet, should a Christian not eschew excess because the priest is kind of annoyed with nothing? That we don't have anything? Fetch our maids. And I'm already annoyed. Okay, we are crowned by a bishop. And we have a battlefield coronation. And everyone hates this. I don't really like that mechanic. I, I feel like it's it's needlessly punishing. Like I have a choice. Like I really have a choice. But it's just the temple vassals that I get upset. So it's not so bad in the end. What is this now? No oh, matter, I will attack it. Oh, goody. Got a little sun there. I think we need more military power in this. Name him after his grandfather. Or rather, this one. Mindaugas. Oh, look at that. The Teutonics are very opportunistic. Um, what? Yes, let's help our wife calm a bit after her pregnancy. They have a huge amount of heavy infantry. We don't. Might win still, but really see it. White peace is what you want. Sure. Let's kick out the Lithuanians, uh, the Teutonics, I mean. And he gets imprisoned. Except he doesn't want to be imprisoned. So the Teutonics can try this war again if they want.
Who wants a job? Who likes us? Who needs a job? What are you good at? Nothing. You're terrible at literally everything except the job you already have, where you're not even good, you're just not terrible. Ay, 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 ay. Okay, let's put the guy who loves us as our spy master to protect us. And we'll find an outside marshal. Uh, steward, I mean. Everywhere. Someone who's Catholic, ideally. This guy, he's great. He's in a cabal. Something among along those lines, but fine. Um, our steward. Steward, and go collect some taxes at home. They are walking there and they don't really get a choice in walking there, they have to walk there. And they need to finish walking there. We'll destroy him for it. Right, let's take his stuff. Oh, wife is pregnant again. Good stuff. Uh, there's something coming for us. Oh, it was him. What? <laughs> we died in battle. I don't even know what to say. I've even I have I have no idea what to say. None whatsoever. We'll just have a betrothal with him so he doesn't constantly threaten us now. Make him something. Chancellor, for example. I, re I, li I literally don't know what to say. This family line. So he died 63, he died 18. It's a wonder. There's actually two kids coming from this boy. My god. Alright, I think I'll end it here for now. This was uh, very interesting. Thanks for watching and see you around.